so pleased to welcome the Executive Director of Greenpeace USA, Phil Radford, to us today. Hello, Earth Day! It's a beautiful day here. You know, Earth Day, 40th anniversary. To me, Earth Day is a celebration of courage. I think that the environmental movement 40 years ago was born out of people that were willing to go on the streets and real courage. And I think all these groups here are, have their stories of courage, and I think Greenpeace is one of those stories of courage. About 40 years ago, inspired by people like Dennis Hayes who started Earth Day, inspired by the anti-war protesters, inspired by Gandhi and Martin Luther King Jr., a set of people, draft dodgers, reporters, hippies, Sierra Club members, and people that cared about their future, found out that the U.S. government was planning to test nuclear weapons in Alaska. Now, in hindsight, maybe that would have been really good. Maybe we didn't need Alaska. That's a joke, sorry. Uh, but they, they didn't know what to do. And they had been protesting the Vietnam War. They weren't able to stop the U.S. military from colonizing much of the world. But they believed two things. One of the things they believed was that when you see an injustice, or when you see something that's wrong, or when your kid's future is threatened, or when your kids might not ever be able to see a great whale, it doesn't matter what can happen, you just have to stand up. The second thing that they believed was that people together, doing smart campaigns, using smart tactics, bringing other people in, can ultimately overpower governments, corporations, or anybody that's despoiling our planet. So what they did, it was kind of stupid. They didn't know what to do. They just got a boat, and they took the boat into the blast zone, and they didn't know if they'd live or die. And they knew that the U.S. military was firebombing countries, that they were napalming people. They knew that the U.S. military wanted to test their new toy, the atomic bomb, so badly. But they had the courage to just stand up, get in the way, and stop what they saw as an insult to humanity. I think today at Earth Day, we're here to honor courage. We're here to honor the 200 million people that stood up on the first Earth Day with Dennis, with the Earth Day Network, and said, enough is enough. Our rivers are on fire. We can't breathe our air. The air in Los Angeles was as bad as smoking two packs a day. Two month old smoking two packs a day. It was just inconscionable. We're here to honor the people that would physically put themselves in between a grenade-tipped harpoon and the eye of a whale. And we're here to call on President Obama to show some courage himself. We're here to call on President Obama to take a simple step, to actually use some political capital. Instead of saying, well, murder is happening, so let's just give murder a quota. The president should spend some capital and say to Japan, it's no longer acceptable for you to violate international law, snub the world, and destroy one of the most intelligent, beautiful species on the planet. Unfortunately, right now, as we speak, the president is making a backroom deal with countries around the world. And that backroom deal would gut what people like us, hundreds of millions of people have fought for for 40 years would allow commercial whaling to start again. And to us, it seems like saying to bankers, well, some of you don't want to be regulated, so just keep gouging the American public, and you can define the terms on how you do it, and here's your quota, it's bigger than what you're doing already. It makes no sense. The president needs to join the legacy of people who will take a stand, do the principled thing, do what's right, even if it's a little bit costly. People are actually willing to put their lives on the line to save whales. The least we can ask of our political leaders is that they'll spend a tiny bit of political capital so that their children and our children can actually see one of the most beautiful and intelligent species on Earth. <laughs> to the President, I think we need to send a loud message. On Earth Day, stand up with your principles, honor the courage of millions of people, honor the fact that Earth Day was born out of courage of people that would stand up and do the same and stop Japan from commercial whaling. <laughs> to you, I would ask you to join us. Join IFA, join Greenpeace, join the Humane Society, 
and marching on the White House right now to make sure that the President knows that people will not tolerate him rolling back 40 years of environmental progress. Thank you. Happy birthday. Thank you, Phil Radford.